The Upper Peninsula Dark Sky Festival continues tonight in Copper Harbor, and after a cloudy first night, guests were in for a treat last night. Take a look here, whether it was getting a closer look at the stars through a telescope, perfecting their astral photography, or just sitting back and staring at the sky. The team at Keweenaw Mountain Lodge took guests across the property to choose their own adventure. One of the big reasons why people come here, especially to Copper Harbor, is to kind of get in touch with nature, whether that's on a mountain bike, whether that's on a hike, whether that's um, getting in touch with Lake Superior along the shoreline. And um, also what we realized is it's, you know, it's an amazing spot for stargazing with having so much uh, natural wilderness around us, so much of uh, the peninsula sticks up in the Lake Superior, so it creates kind of a natural barrier where there's no um, human development. And that's when we kind of came up with the idea about three years ago to start working towards having um, the property designated as an international dark sky park. Along with experiencing the natural surroundings of the Keweenaw, organizers have created an educational component to the festival about everything from photography, the reducing of unnecessary light pollution, and creating tourism events that are beneficial to smaller communities. What is the right amount of people that can be here on the Q&A? When do you stop promoting it? What do you promote? So um, those discussions have started. Um, Visit q and is even doing a series on sustainability. Um, over the last couple of months, there's more upcoming discussions on that. They're doing hosting different discussions and workshops across the q and on sustainability and all those different types. Um, and that's kind of a dialogue you want to have with the whole community. If this looks like something you'd want to check out, it will be later in the month of April next year. The schedule follows the new moon to make it easier to see the stars.